in Bandung, Aji, please. Okay, uh, good afternoon. So I'm the last, maybe I'm the youngest. <laughs> uh, my name is Muhammad Aji Santika and uh, you can call me Aji and I'm the coordinator of uh, Startup Bandung Community. So I'm gonna talk about Startup Community and Smart City Initiatives. So uh, first, uh, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a startup, uh, I have my own startup. Uh, my first business was a culinary, in culinary business. I've got a cafe in Bandung. And then I shifting uh, before quite, uh, quite uh, drastic to uh, game developers. And then uh, back in 2014, I uh, funded, uh, and established a co and co co-working space. It's a co-working space for, uh, first we focus on digital nomad, because Bandung uh, is a design uh, city right now and then the whole of ecosystem is uh, a lot of designers come to Bandung so our uh, co-working space shift to like digital creative uh, uh, spaces. So we talk first about Sala Bandung. It's a community uh, for digital and creative startup in Bandung. So yeah. Basically, it's a startup uh, to gather uh, all of the startup in Bandung. Why? Because if you heard the news, Indonesia is one of the hottest places to invest in startups. A lot of big players come to Indonesia. Uh, big startups, usually, uh, they uh, got an office in Jakarta. But 70 to 80 talents of the developers come from Bandung. And then, yeah, it's basically uh, because uh, Bandung has a lot of uh, universities and the talent. Of publicity, we don't know uh, how, much, how many startups actually in Bandung. So the, the mission is to uh, help uh, their gather in one place. And it's just, that, it's just a network. So this is uh, 2014, there are 19 startups come to uh, starting this movement, starting this community. And then next month, uh, we create this a mission. We are placed to share, to care, to communicate and collaborate within uh, Bandung area. And then next month, just two months, there are 150 startups in our database. So we just started in 19, and the next two months we have 150. And now we uh, in our database, there are 190 startups in our database, so it's quite a lot. Uh, this is the mayor in uh, Bandung. The categories is like marketplace, design, animation, game developers, social media analytics, internet of things. There's also a makers movement right now in Bandung. Uh, digital marketing, IT solutions, services. There's several of startups. This is quite a, one of the big yeah, several uh, big startups in Bandung got funding like Series A, Series B, and also Astronaut is special because uh, the founder names is Nigel. He's from Australia, and he, he just fell in love in Bandung, and it, he he told uh, friends in Australia to move out to Bandung to uh, create the startups here there, and this is the. Shareholders, stakeholders and partners. We partners with the co-working space. Uh, I started the movement of co-working space in 2014, uh, Coinco space, and now 2016, we have 13 co-working space all around Bandung. So it's quite a lot, just one year. And there's also government, community, another community, media, investor and VC, and corporations. And we uh, I want to uh, elaborate the things with the smart city plan that the mayor of Bandung has already initiated in 2013. So this is the smart city uh, looks like. It's uh, quite a big plan. Uh, is the tagline is emerging world class city center in Bandung. So the, he move. He really wants to move the city center. 
from uh, Alun-Alun Bandung to uh, Gede Bage. It's kind of an urban area. So the tagline is exemplary city for people to live, work, and play with Sunda philosophy. So uh, we, we try to uh, preserve our culture in this uh, smart city plan. This is the city of Bandung. The old city center is uh, right there, Alun Alun uh, Bandung. And then uh, in the future, the purpose is focused on arts, culture, service, and academic. The newest one is uh, Gede Bage. It's more like uh, going to the west. Uh, it's focused on city expansion. <laughs> Government will move there. And this transportation, uh, uh, we, we're going to have a high speed train that connecting Jakarta to Bandung, just 40 minutes, will be uh, in Gede Bage. So, yeah, this is the. Uh, nah. This is the fact that we have like 78 higher education, we have 220,000 uh, students in Bandung. I think it is uh, the most, uh, yeah, the most uh, numbers of students in Indonesia. And also, uh, we want to plan, uh, we, 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 plan to integrate the uh, Gede Bage Smart City Plan to Creative Business Core. Yeah, this is the city. Uh, so it's like uh, we create uh, own uh, in that uh, center, own mega spaces that consist of uh, public spaces and then a uh, lot of co-working space, a lot of international companies here. And you see that there are uh, some of green spaces uh, around uh, circling the uh, city. And then the, there's uh, some of the uh, creative, creative, like TCDC. We want to create that in the uh, south area. But the current condition is the government is only focused on infrastructure. So there's a big gap with the community itself. Uh, you know, because uh, we don't have much uh, connection to the uh, government and the people who create the infrastructure. And also, there's uh, one smart city council initiative, but right now, it's kind of uh, been postponed because there's no direction in the Smart City Council. A lot of people that in the board just uh, go and, and, and act uh, sporadically. Uh, and then city branding and implementation. Because this, this is the programs that uh, we uh, planned before we become the City of Design by UNESCO. So right now it's like we kind of uh, the, the the citizen is kind of uh, the people in Bandung confused uh, if if Bandung branding is more like to design or more, more like to uh, smart city and also the implementation it's uh, confusing to a lot of community and also uh, I think we must focus uh, to use technology as the enabler uh, not the most important things uh, in the smart city plan. So uh, our role is to focus the important things in the ecosystems, which is the people. So we help uh, routine programs like Startup Talk Monthly. Uh, founder Berbagi is like sharing between the founders, office visit and startup camp every year. So we uh, use, we self-funded. Uh, we gather the crowdfunding from a uh, lot of startups in Bandung to help these programs. Like uh, this month, next week, we'll, uh, it will be an event called DevSember. We gather all of the developers in Bandung, create the, the database uh, so we can uh, use it uh, properly between the startups uh, in Bandung. So this is the one of the programs called Founders Hangout. 
the topic is very unique and different each month. This uh, at this topic it held uh, two months ago. Uh, its topics focus on uh, young marriage uh, with startup founders. One of the problems with startup founders in Bandung is a uh, lot of uh, marriage uh, below the 30 and they are startup founders and they are like uh, couples creates their own startups and they're uh, taking the problems the family problems to the startups there's a lot of cases like this and we want to share how to solve and how to uh, manage the problems uh, and then in founders hang out there's usually some of the uh, people uh, from outside the cities like Jakarta and Jogja uh, last week is Surabaya they came to uh, just curious uh, what is happening in Bandung what is happening to startup skin in Bandung so uh, this uh, kind of uh, events is very important because uh, they talk very open and then we tend to uh, become more close because we we see and interact uh, by directly person to person not just by Facebook groups or WhatsApp chats yeah so that's it uh, about uh, Startup Bandung and Smart City Initiative and next uh, year we plan to uh, creates the festival, startup festival that gather uh, startups from like Jakarta, Jogja, Surabaya, and Bali, and also integrated with the uh, national initiative, uh, one one thousand startups, and also uh, startups. Uh, there, there are two uh, gov two government uh, institution that supporting the startups, Ministry of Communications, and uh, Indonesian Creative City Councils. We want to plan to have the festival, uh, an international conference in Bandung in Jakarta. Thank you. I think something went wrong here. When I invited Aji, I thought he's going to share about how wonderful everything is going with Bandung Smart City Development. And to be honest, um, they have the the, some of the initiatives, and you haven't covered them all, are, um, are really good. Uh, Bandung Creative City uh, 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 Forum. But some of the problems that you mentioned, I, I think it's very courageous that you shared also the problems. And yeah. some of the problems, sorry? Yeah, because uh, now is the transitions be uh, between the uh, concept, the initiative, and the implementations. There are a lot of problems. And the problem is quite uh, serious. Right, okay. Because some of the problems that he talked about, I see also in Chiang Mai with the what identity, you know, city of craft, smart city, digital hub, and, and all that. Focus on infrastructure versus focusing, and technology versus focusing on people. Um, so I think one of the key things from this forum is that we can um, learn from each other so much in this region and collaborate as um, Joe suggested and I want to connect more of you with the startup community in Chiang Mai. So thank you very much for uh, the three of you. Thank you Jackie also again. Um, please join me in giving an applause. So when you look at the program that you've been given, you see, I like the word eclectic. When I look my eclectic, could I it's a very diverse choice of speakers because I think cities are about diversity. Cities are about kwam lak lai. Cities kind of need to have problems and imperfections, but we also need to make cities better to be livable and just and inclusive. Um, so that's what we try to do. อาจจะมีด้วยความรู้จักบ้างหรือความบังเอิญเข้าว่างคนอื่นไม่ว่างอะไรอย่างเงี้ยบัตรเราพยายามที่จะเชิญวิทยากรหลากหลายเพราะว
about connecting art and city development and about technology in the city, urban transport solutions, how the private sector can get together, but also how we need to connect, for example, bicycling um, can be part of our transport solution. I also wanted to invite somebody from the um, initiative to walk, good walk, but we cannot invite everybody. So, you know, walking and cycling in Chiang Mai, I think we have a great opportunity to do that. So, um, one question that somebody asked early on was about implementation. And this is not the forum for it. There's, you cannot do implementation and action planning with 150 people in a room like this. So, uh, today our objective really was different, is connecting and, um, and bringing you together. Um, but we will follow up on this. We will share all the presentations and we will extract. And as I said, we will present uh, some of the points tomorrow as well to um, another group of stakeholders. When we have a wang we will talk about implementation. That's one of the objectives. And to get new ideas, new inspirations. So, because we all brought you together and you kind of were so kind to be here until the end, could I invite everybody, could my team help me to bring everybody to the stage here for a group photo? Julian, can you, and uh, Liwei, can you bring people from the back towards the front so that we can take one big group photo of people that are here to the end. You get this really thankful. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.